The information in this video is provided for informational and educational purposes only. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the Morale Monologue. My name is Michael Morale. Okay, so in today's video, I want to talk to everyone about a topic that really doesn't have anything to do with clinical trials or pharmaceutical companies. I want to talk to you about a topic that I think is pretty prevalent within the SMA community, and it deals with depression and anxiety. Now, I'm going to be telling you my story, and my story will probably be completely different from yours, but I just wanted to get this out in the open so that I can share some of my thoughts with you. You know, after my mother passed away in 2008, my father and I were forced to hire a live-in caregiver that would be with us 24-7, 365. So when we did this, it made me stop and think about what my life is going to be like as I get older and after my father passed away. And when my father passed away in 2015, I really had to take a real deep look into this because you know, hiring a living caregiver can be very expensive. Now, some of you may receive aid with regards to financial assistance, but unfortunately for me, I make enough money to where I don't qualify for caregiving assistance. So everything that I had to pay for would be out of pocket. And when I did the math, I finally figured out that with all of my savings and everything that I had throughout my working career, I was going to be able to sustain this kind of lifestyle for about seven years. So what was I going to do after that? You know, where would I live? I wouldn't be able to afford my house. I would probably have to go into a nursing uh, care home, either a skilled home or maybe even a group home. And even though this was expensive, if I sold my house and put that money in my investments, I would be able to do that. But I visited some of these group homes and it was really depressing because the only thing I would be allowed to bring was my bed and even you know my clothes and stuff like that. I wouldn't be allowed a TV in my room. I wouldn't have used to a computer. And so I started thinking to myself, I need to do something so that I can live my life. And it really took its toll on me. Uh, I've been suffering through a little bit of depression and anxiety for literally about the last 14 years. And it finally got to the point to where it was bigger than me. So I spoke to my primary care physician about it and they directed me to a group that's working with me now. I've got a clinical therapist that I work with once a month, and if need be, it, it can be more than that. But they're helping me deal with some of the questions that I've got with regards to what's gonna happen to me as I get older, who's gonna take care of me. And I think a lot of these concerns are what most of us with SMA will probably have to deal with at some point in our life. I've spoken to quite a few friends who have SMA and they're going through the same thing that I am. Maybe not to the extent that I am, but it is an issue that's concerning them. And as they get older, like I am, they're going to have to address these issues. So if you're going through any kind of depression or anxiety, whether it be from work or from home or just life circumstances, talk to your primary care physician. Get the help that you need, okay? You know, they say that asking for help is a sign of weakness. I disagree with that wholeheartedly. Get that out of your head. In my opinion, asking for help is a sign of strength because at least you know that you need to do something about it. So take the time, think about your life, and I'm not trying to say get depressed about your life, but if you are going through depression, get the help that you need. You are your own best advocate and getting the help that you need will improve your quality of life exponentially. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got some information out of it that you can use as well. Remember, if you're going through any kind of depression or anxiety relating to your life, make sure that you speak to your primary care physicians. They may be able to direct you to a group that can help you, similar to the help that I'm getting myself. Okay, so if you enjoyed this episode of the Marilyn Monologue, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the SMA News Today YouTube channel as well. We would greatly appreciate it. Remember, when you do subscribe to our channel, be sure to click on the bell icon. That way you'll be notified of any new videos that we produce. We at SMA News Today hope all of you have had a fantastic week. Do me a favor this upcoming week, do something for yourself 
that's going to make you a better person. Until next time, take care of yourself, and I'll talk to you in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye.